SPSP to me means success actually and it's success in improving the quality of healthcare in Scotland and I'm really pleased about that. But it's also been success for me in actually engaging with clinicians and bringing clinicians to the table to try and improve healthcare and become they've become really excited and motivated um, by the work that they're doing. I think the greatest achievement for SPSP would be very easy to say it's done lots of fantastic stuff in the acute sector. So we've virtually eliminated ventilator associated infection, but you know, the real thing for me is the achievements uh, in much more chronic conditions like mental health. So I think for me, the biggest achievement, and I would say this because I'm a psychiatrist, um, has been that we've reached out to the most vulnerable in our society. What Scotland's done in terms of SPSP is shown the world that you can deliver national programmes, that you can take small projects, scale them up and do things nationally. And I think because of that, um, they now have an international profile. So we have people coming from many parts of the world to come and look at our services, to come and look at how you drive improvement at a national scale. The priorities for the future are to continue to be as enthusiastic and as energetic in delivering improvement in Scotland. I think the important thing is to make sure that we sustain the progress we've made. Three words that will summarise? Transformational, exciting and effective. Congratulations to SPSP for reaching its 10th year. I think it's been an amazing programme. I think the staff have been absolutely fantastic in what they've achieved and what they're still going to achieve. And I think we should say a huge thank you as well to all the patients, the public and carers in Scotland because they've been on that journey with all of us. So it's great. Mm -hmm.